All right, so this is about as far as we got on Monday. Uh, we're going to add a couple of details to the ears if you haven't already done that. We're going to go ahead and add a line that's going to look like this. I'm going to be going pretty fast in this recording, so you're going to have to pause it as you go. So we'll make another little shape right in here, kind of similar to that right in there. And this one we're going to go ahead and shade in. Okay, so we'll shade that one in. We're going to do the same thing that we did to this side of the ear. We're going to go ahead and do to the other side of the ear. So we're going to start off with a line right here. Go ahead and curve that down. Stop about there. We're going to make a kind of similar shape to that. We'll go up, bring it in, attach. We're going to go ahead and shade that in. A few more details we could do to the ears, but we're going to just leave it like this, and this will work for our assignment. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that we erase all of the lines that are going through your uh, work. So now that you've erased all your lines, the line going through, the lines in between, the ones that showed you how wide the nose are, the ones that showed you how wide the mouth are, you want to go ahead and get those out of the picture. Once those are out of the picture, what we're going to do is we're going to work the eye and make it look realistic. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the eye and we're going to start off by darkening the top line of the eye. So this line right here, we're going to darken it and like thicken it up just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do that just to the top part of this eye here. And like I said, I'll be going kind of fast through this video. You're just going to go ahead and uh, I'll just pause it as you need to. This line right here, we're also going to darken up. The two lines are just going to darken up right there. Okay. And then um, what we're going to do is right here, we're going to make that look like a little glare. So very lightly, you're going to draw yourself a little um, shape right there to create a glare. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and pull some lines out from the middle, like a wheel, like radial balance, coming out from the middle of the eye. You don't have to make them too dark. It doesn't matter um, how many you put in there to put those around. Then I'm going to use the side of my lid, and I'm going to get a little bit of shade, uh, add a little bit of shading right in here. And right on this side, both sides of this. And that's pretty much all the lead that I'm going to put on there. And the rest I'm going to do with tortillion work. Okay. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your tortillion. Uh, we don't use the point of the tortillion. You don't press down on the point. What you do is you use the side of it. Okay. So you rub into it like this way. The point, it's point so it can, you can get into little areas. But we don't want to press down on it because it will mess it up. You'll end up getting really flat and you won't have a very good tool to use. So... That being said, you're going to go ahead and right on the line, we're going to go ahead and blend this lead here. And you can go a little bit above or below and below the line. And we're just going to kind of soften that up and it'll look now like that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and follow the bottom line as well. Try to stay on the line as much as you can and just soften that out. Once we do that, then we're going to add a little bit of shading to the eyeball. It's round, so we're going to go ahead and curve a little bit here. Add a little shading to the eyeball, and you can add some to the little pink skin that's right there. You do want to leave some white, okay? And then do some to the, this corner over here as well. Add a little shading in there, okay? And then we'll go ahead and rub between the two lines. So we'll blend a little bit between those two lines so it looks a little light gray. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull some color out from the pupil. So we're just going to go from the pupil out, and you can go back and forth, always to the center, so that you keep the shape of the eye. So back and forth to the center. Avoid getting in that little highlighted area. Go around it, and then you can go ahead and circle around the outside. So it looks something like that. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to blend from this top line to the next line. So from this line to that line, we're just going to pick up some lead and blend it up. Try not to touch the line, but if you do, it's okay. If you can avoid touching the, the top line, go from this bottom line to the second line. Try not to touch it so it leaves a little bit of a white highlight at the top. And at the end, you can kind of like make a little triangle type deal like that. Then we're going to blend from this top line up as much as we can going curved toward the eyebrow line remember that's our eyebrow right there so it'll kind of fade off and you're just going to go side um, curved blending as best as you can like i said i'm going pretty fast so you might want to slow it down pause it while you work and then unpause it 
And that's pretty much that. So what we'll do next is we're going to grab a little bit of lead from this dark line where the eyelid line is at. And um, you'll start with your tortillion on there and rub it around the eye. Kind of curve it in here. You can leave a little gap where you don't touch the line on the eye. So something like that. And that'll start to kind of get where the bridge of the nose is at and where your eye is at. And we'll do the same thing from this side. Curve this this way underneath the eye. Just light shadows. We don't need to have like a black eye or anything like that. It's need to look like he's lack of sleep. But this is round, so we want to round that off. So we got a little shading there. And if you want to drop this down a little, you can kind of curve around and then down the bridge of the nose. So it goes this way and down. And that's pretty much that. So what we did to this eye, we're going to do to the other eye. So we'll go ahead and zoom into the other eye now. First thing we're going to do with our pencil, we're going to darken up the eyelid line. And we're going to darken up the top of the eye and the eyelid line. Okay? And then we're going to get the shape here for the highlight. Bring out the lines for the on the iris. And then we'll add a little bit of shading here by laying our pencil down. Add a little shading on this side, a little on that side. Then we're going to get the tortillion and start. So with the tortillion, again, we start on the top of the eye. We can blend a little on the top of the line and above and below the line. Very controlled, soften up that line. Then we're going to go ahead and go underneath here, this bottom one. We're going to try to stay on this bottom line as best as we can. And then we're going to go ahead and add some shading to the ends, the corners of the eyeball. There and here. And then we'll pull out some color from the pupil. So to the outside, you can go back and forth, always going to the center. Avoid the highlight, leave that part alone. And you can kind of round it off on the ends. And you've got your eye there. Now we're going to blend from this line up to the second line. Like I said, pause the video as you need. And then we're going to blend from this line up as much as we can until we hit the eyebrow. And there's not too much lead on that line, so we're not going to, it shouldn't be too dark. And that's because your, your eyebrows and the bridge of your nose pops up and your eyes kind of sink in there. Then we're going to go ahead and come around from this line, bring some of that lead around this edge. That works with your finger too. You can use your finger. This just gets you into smaller areas. From here, we're going to get on that line right there. Bring this around. So this thing doesn't, the tortillion doesn't do anything unless you have lead. So we want to bring that out and kind of go around the eye and then down the bridge of the nose. And do that. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and work the nose. So for the nose, it's pretty simple. We're going to lay the pencil down. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We're going to lay the pencil down and we're gonna make like a long, like a soft U. It's going to look like, sorry. It's going to look like this. So you're going to lay your pencil down, get a soft U. Don't press very hard, it should be soft. Just something like that. Once you got that, you're going to put your pencil down, get your tortillion, and we're going to drag this nose, this uh, lead, all the way up to the eyebrow. So I'm going to start here. Again, we're using the side of here. Lay this down a little bit, bring that, curve that up, all the way to it gets to the eyebrow. And then we're going 
going to do the same thing to the other side all the way up to the eyebrow so if you have a line like I do right there you want this to blend together so just use your tortillion to blend that in so here and up here and up you can come a little bit inside if your lines are too dark to kind of shade that in between the eyes you can also kind of shade it between just lightly blend that in between the eyes right there so something like that all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to get lead from this line here right on the line you can blend off at the bottom of it a little bit and we're going to blend that into this part over here and then this will just kind of join the nose the bridge of the nose over there do the same thing to the other side right on the line around and then go attached to the bridge of the nose and you can kind of blend that right there so now you've got something like this all right that's pretty much that now for the mouth this is the top lip here so what we're going to do is we're going to just bring down a little bit of lead right in the middle. Don't touch the top lip line. So I'm going to not touch the top lip line. I'm going to bring out a little line from here that comes this way. And one that goes this way. So you can get the shape of the cheek. Okay. And then we'll leave a little bit of space between this and right here. And we're going to shade it in here. And fill this in right here. Just to get a little bit of blending right in here and get the shape of your cheek. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Leave a little space here. And then make sure you're touching that line on the bottom of the nose. That's where the, you're getting the lead from. And it should look something like that. All right, now, so get your pencil and darken up this middle line right here. We'll darken it pretty dark. That's the middle line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that lead to shape up my lips. So I'm just going to grab some lead from here and make the shape of my lips. And everybody's top lip is different. So however you want to do it, use the lead from that line to shape up your top lip. Now we've got a top lip there. For the bottom lip, I'm going to have you use your pencil right on the corner here. We're going to just kind of make a little bit of a line like that. A couple of little lines like this. And we're going to use that for our bottom lip. Try not to touch this line, okay? So we're going to go right close to it, but not, not touching it. So we'll come here, grab that lip. Bring it around really close to that line. It's not going to touch. Okay, we've got some lips there. Then what would the last thing we're going to do is blend from here that line up the lip, this line up the lip, and then down by the chin. And we're done. Okay, for today. Tomorrow we will do the rest. So it should look something like that now. A little bit more realism. We'll add, um, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, a little shading on the ears tomorrow, um, some shading around the face, and then on the hair. Okay, make sure you get this done. All right, thanks.